Welcome to Indianapolis for Campus Insiders. Continuing coverage of the Final Four fueled by Oberto. Bonnie Bernstein alongside former Notre Dame coaching great Digger Phelps. We've got two great semifinals. The first one will be one seed Duke going up against seven seed Michigan State, the lone team remaining that is not actually a one seed. And it's one thing for me to go on Twitter and say, never ever doubt Tom Izzo in March. But from a coach's perspective, Digger, what was Izzo able to do with this team this year to enable them to way exceed expectations. Ironically, it was November 18th here in Indy in that classic where they lost to Duke by 10. Right. So from that moment on, even when I saw them December 3rd when they lost in overtime at Notre Dame, I just felt that that team had talent. When you look at Dawson, you look at Costello up on that front line making things happen, Valentine and Trice on that perimeter with Forbes. The team just needed to grow. There was one point in the year when everybody thought maybe they may not get a bid, but vintage is up. They lose to Wisconsin in overtime. Actually get shut out 11 zip in that overtime. But here it comes. They beat two seed Virginia, three seed Oklahoma, four seed Louisville. Now they have a chance to come back and beat Duke after losing to him back November 18th. So this is vintage Tom Izzo time. He knows how to do this. He's been to the Final Four going on seven times. To me, this is why those kids love him and respect him. They play for him. They play their hearts out. Watch Michigan State. It's going to be a battle with Duke. So many great things going on. Improved defense, the evolution of Trice. Tum Tum Naren coming on as a freshman leader at point guard. It should be a great game between Michigan State and Duke. Izzo is the coach with the most wins as the lower seed. That would be 13. Can it happen again in the semis here at the Final Four? Stay tuned to Campus Insiders continuing coverage here in Indy.